In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at uh, rotating objects 90 degrees. And there's two different directions you can go. The CCW and CW stand for counterclockwise and clockwise. So let's talk about the CW, clockwise, first. If you look at my cursor, and the center of rotation is the origin, uh, the zero, zero point. So think of it if there was a clock, and the center of the clock was right here, the hands would be revolving in this direction. That's a clockwise rotation. Counterclockwise, that's what CCW stands for, is the opposite direction. So counterclockwise, they go the opposite direction of a clock. And my cursor, you can see rotating in that direction. That's the opposite direction of a clock. So uh, we're going to rotate this rectangle, ABCD, counterclockwise 90 degrees. And I'll, I'll take a look at a clockwise example in the second example. So let's first of all take a look at point A. So what's going to happen is this. This is going to rotate uh, 90 degrees around the origin. Uh, you can also think of that as a quarter turn. If I drew a whole circle here, this is a quarter of the way around the circle. So that point's going to arc up along there. Let's get rid of that dotted line. And that's the point negative 2 comma 3. Now, one way, and I'm going to draw here. If you think of the, uh, if you draw a right angle triangle, this is one way you can know that that's a 90 degree rotation. So this is a right angle triangle. Since A is the point 3, 2, this side's 3, this side's 2. And notice that if we do the same thing with A prime here, the image of A, and that's what that little, uh, it looks like an apostrophe. It's the closest symbol I had to a prime. Um, it that symbol means the image of some point, not necessarily just for rotations, but any kind of transformation, whether you're like translating a point or stretching it or something like that. So um, notice that in this right angle triangle, this side is now three and this side is two. So notice that the horizontal three becomes a vertical three for the image point and the vertical 2 becomes a horizontal 2. Okay, they switch. We, this is actually, it's 2 to the left. We don't normally think of distances as being positive, but since it's going to the left, that's why it's negative 2. So the x-coordinate x of negative 2 and the y-coordinate is 3. So let's get rid of that. And so let's do the same for point B now. So if I draw, if I drew, so this is my quarter turn. So that's what it does. It rotates along there. And that's the image of B. So notice that if you think of that triangle again, uh, you see this side is 3. The up is 8. So they switch. So it's 8 to the left, right to there, and up 3. Again, that horizontal and vertical distance to switch. So that's B prime. Let's do C prime now. So this point's going to rotate over to here. Here's my C prime point. So again, uh, you see this was 7 to the right, 8 up. So it's going to be 8 horizontally and 7 up. Again, they switch. And we'll do D as well. There's what, That's what happens to D. And so there's my D prime point. And we'll draw in our rectangle. That's our rotated rectangle. This, rot this rectangle is a 90 degree rotation counterclockwise of the original. Now, uh, another way you can make sure that that's rotated exactly 90 degrees is, and I'll do this for two of the points, um, this distance here and this distance here be the, have to be the same. And again, if you think of that little right triangle, if I see this right triangle and this right triangle, if they have sides of three and two on the, those are called the legs of a triangle, um, as, as opposed to the diagonal distance, it's called the hypotenuse. If the leg of this is two and three and the leg of this is three and two, as long as those two triangles have the same legs, like two sides, uh, then that hypotenuse distance has to be the same. Also, if you draw these in connecting the, uh, the corner at the center of rotation and the ends at the original point in the image, then there's the 90 degree angle right there. If we get rid of that one, let's do the same thing for B. See, this distance and this distance have to be the same. And again, um, that is the 90 degree angle there that the side to the original point and the side to the image point with the corner on the center of rotation, that makes a 90 degree angle. 
let's get rid of that. So um, if you, um, and, and I'm gonna talk about that circle. Uh, well, actually, see, I, I, I drew it so that it went through the three eight point. So you see, there's the, there's the quarter turn right there. It went, it's going along that circle. So that's the three eight point rotated to the negative eight three point. So I'm gonna write down, see this point turned into this one. Uh, B38 turned into negative 83. Uh, the C point became the C prime point, and 72 became negative 27. So notice what's happening in each of these. Remember, x is first, y is second. So the x coordinate of 3 became the y coordinate. x coordinate of 3 became the y coordinate, everyone. And the original y number uh, became the x, and it changed its sign. So this was 8, became negative 8. This was 8, became negative 8. This was 2 became negative two. So we can think of a, uh, this is sort of a pattern rule for counterclockwise 90 degree rotation. Okay, so, and this is only for counterclockwise 90 degree rotation. If you do clockwise, it's a slightly different rule. So notice what's happening in each of these. See, the X became the Y. So this is my X number, it became the Y number. So Y comma, X comma Y became. So the first number becomes the second. And then the second number, becomes the first. The original y coordinate becomes the first and it changes its sign. So if I call that y, then that number is now here and it's the opposite sign. That's what the negative means. And this applies not just to the, um, the corners of the shape, but applies to any point. So for example, I'm going to draw that dotted circle back. So if I take the middle of this side, uh, that point right there is the point 7, 5. If we apply this rule to it, Okay, and if we look at that rotation, it rotates over here, the middle of the C prime, D prime side. That's the point negative five, seven. So notice what's happened. The original X coordinate became the Y. That's what that said. The original X coordinate became the Y. And the original Y coordinate, or second number, became the X and changed its sign. So it applies to any point on the shapes, not just the corners somewhere. So that's what a, uh, uh, a counterclockwise 90 degree rotation looks like and how you perform it. In the uh, second example, we're going to take a look at uh, rotating the, uh, a triangle instead of a rectangle. Okay, so we're going to do a different shape here. So we're going to rotate this clockwise 90 degrees or a negative 90 degree rotation. Uh, I don't know why this was decided a long time ago, but um, clockwise is referred to as a negative rotation. Uh, the counterclockwise is actually positive. So that convention is the opposite of a clock. So clockwise is considered a negative rotation, but counterclockwise is a positive rotation. The uh, one we did back here, instead of saying counterclockwise 90, I could have said a positive rotation. That would have been the same thing. So back to our, tri our triangle here. So again, we're going to rotate each of these points. I'm not going to just draw the arcs. Actually, in this one, I'm going to draw the full circle. So for each one, I'm going to do D first. I'm drawing the circle, a circle with its center at the origin that goes through point D. And then you can see the rotation a little bit better. There's my, um, there's my quarter turn or 90 degree rotation. Again, I'm going in the clockwise direction in this case. So, we'll get, so that's the point three comma two. Notice that again, the numbers are just switching. It's a different number that changed its sign in this case though. And, and we'll, I'll, I'll talk about that. Let's get rid of that. I'm gonna do all the rotations and we'll discuss that first. Let's do E next. So again, I'm drawing a full circle and uh, I'm gonna rotate this point. So again, it's a quarter turn. You see a, f a half turn would be here. Uh, would be uh, actually down here. See, that's halfway along there, okay, to here. So we get rid of that circle. So that's the point seven negative two, and then we'll do F as well. Oh, I didn't realize I had my circle leave first. So there's the rotation along there. So that's the F prime point. And now we'll just draw in the sides. So that's my rotated triangle. That's what it looks like. And I only do this for the F point. I could have do it for, done it for all of them. Again, if you make, uh, if you join uh, the center rotation to both the the original point and its image, there's the right angle right there. And again, this distance should be the same as this distance. Let me talk about the triangles again. Um, I, this is a good place to uh, draw in my triangles because I've got the hypotenuses already done. So 
if we draw in this triangle, see that's to the right eight and up one. So this side's one, this horizontal side is eight. And here's the same triangle, just oriented differently. See, that's one. This is, well, this is eight down. So notice that, see, th that's why the y coordinate's negative eight. So again, the number is a switch. The original x becomes the y, but that's the number that's changing its sign this time. So the eight became a negative eight. The eight that was x became a negative eight and becomes the y. The original y number of one became the x coordinate of one. So I'm going to write all the points out here. Let's get rid of uh, all that writing. Back to my pointer. So we get rid of that. So um, d negative two three became d prime three uh, uh, three two. Uh, e was uh, two seven and it rotated to two uh, seven negative two. Sorry, f was eight one and became uh, one negative eight. So here's the rule in this case. So every first number became the second number, or every x became the new y, and it changed its sign. See, this was 2, becomes negative 2 over here. This was 8, becomes negative 8. So the x becomes the new y coordinate and changes its sign. That's why there's a negative there. But all the original y numbers just became the x. See, this was 3, this is a 3. That was a 7, this is a 7. This is a 1, that was a 1. So whatever number is here, it has the same sign. It just becomes the uh, our first coordinate in that case. And this rule applies to any point on the original triangle and its image on the image triangle. So for example, if I plot this point, uh, this is the point 5 comma 4 on the EF side, if we draw a circle, rotate that a quarter turn, it has an image point on the E prime F prime side the same. So this rule says the first number becomes the new second number with the opposite sign. So this was 5, becomes negative 5 for the y. And the original y coordinate becomes the x with the same sign. So that was 4. This is 4 for the first number. And again, that rule applies to every point, not just the vertices. And that's the end of the tutorial.